I'm Jeremy Kaplan, Editor-in-Chief of Digital Trends, and I'm coming to you from CES Asia. Over my shoulder, you can see this massive booth from Intel. You can see the crowds all around us. This is virtual reality, so come around with me. We'll explore the place a little bit. Now, it looks pretty crazy. It is pretty crowded. It's not as big as the main CES show, of course, because it's a new one. This is only the second year they're doing it, but it has all of the same stuff. The same spectacle, the same gadgets, the same self-driving cars, the same drones, all the same technology, just catering to an Asian market. In the next couple of minutes, I'll take you on a little tour. We'll show you some of the other stuff that you're going to see here at this show. You can't have a consumer electronics show without cars. I know it sounds weird, but cars have become a big source of technology and a big part of every show. So you see here we have electric plug-in cars. We have over my shoulder, we have Pioneer showing off LiDAR, the uh, in-car radar systems. We have uh, incredible booths with lots of futuristic vehicles. And one of the really neat things that we have here is from BMW, it's the i8. The i8 is a great platform. BMW uses this to showcase a lot of their technologies. And at a keynote that I saw this morning, BMW was talking about the i8 and ways that they can bring a lot of neat new technology into it. So one of the things they're talking about is self-driving cars, of course. Everyone's talking self-driving cars. What was neat about BMW's keynote was they said, so what? Once this is a self-driving car platform, what else are we going to do? What is that experience like for you? What is it like if, if you're the guy that owns a self-driving car? Kind of interesting to think about that. So it's a lot of services that BMW is talking about rolling out, car sharing services, uh, ways to connect the self-driving car to your smart home, which I think is a very fascinating concept. Imagine this, the car knows when you're getting home and it turns on the heating system for you, it turns on all the lights, and all of a sudden your house is ready to go. Smart car, smart phone, smart home, pretty smart world, huh? So this is CES, and you can't have a CES without drones. There are all sorts of drones here, little drones, small drones, big drones, toy drones. Drones for business, drones for agriculture. I haven't seen a product category explode like this since, well, since ever. You can't throw a tennis ball without hitting a drone maker inside there. We're outside in a cage right now, and you can see right over there, there's a drone hovering in the air. It looks like ordinary drones, but it's not. It's got a new technology. Well, it's an old technology, but it's the first time we've seen it in a drone. It's an Intel RealSense camera, and the technology that's built into there lets this drone follow you. A lot of drones do follow mode. This one will dodge obstacles. So it'll go around trees, it'll go around uh, with hedges, whatever it is, in order to follow you without colliding with anything else. That's pretty cool. It's neat to see how this technology and how drones keep evolving. Really neat stuff we're seeing here at CBS.